Hi, Grandma. I missed you. Dommy Mommies. Everybody loves them. This is a safe place. Urban Dictionary defines Dommy Mommy as um, a perfect woman. Now, from a perfectly objective perspective, absolutely no stake in the game, let's take a look at the rise of the Dommy Mommy in popular culture. Stop with your stupid videos and go take out the trash! Yes, honey. Now, I have absolutely no clue what was going on in the early noughties, to be honest, but we will get into the modern relevance of dominant mominance later. We will BRB, so fret ye not, my hit clip listening awkward turtles. Going into a time a bit before the reign of Google over our bodies, minds, and souls, in the 7th century lived one of the earliest and dommiest examples of a strong woman. Empress Wu Zetian held China by the ghibli bits. You know they say China looks like a chicken, and to be honest, I, I, I do kind of see it. Tang Taizong, a fellow who is otherwise interesting for very uh, Alabama reasons we won't get into today, took Wu Zetian as a concubine. When she was 13. Why don't you take a seat, Taizong? Yeah, no, you can eat some pizza. That's fine. With Tai Zong out of the picture, a new taller Zong came to power and sent our heroine to be a nun. Uh, until Gao Zong's wife brought her back to be her husband's consort? I, I don't know. Women are complicated. So if you know anything about pimp culture, you know the bottom hoe is who really runs it. And Wu Zetian quickly gained Gao Zong's favor. The Empress and Gao Zong's former favorite consort teamed up against Wu Zetian. But when her newborn daughter died, Gao Zong accused the Empress of the uh, baby go bye bye stuff and made Wu Zetian the new Empress. Big surprise! Next year, new Empress thinks the old Empress and the consort be witches, and you know what we do with witches, kids! Wu Zetian, over the next few years, consolidated her influence in the court, and when her second husband died, she kind of just was already running the show, and everybody was chill with her continuing to run the show. In her life, she embodied the spirit of Dami Mami. She was ruthless, strong, and capable. She founded the Zhou Dynasty. She executed and exiled her enemies. She made Buddhism the state religion of China. She lowered the taxes. Quality, strong woman energy. Now, Dami Mamis are certainly on the uptrend in recent years, but it has been very gradual. One huge factor in the uptick in recent years was the release of Resident Evil Village. You can see how in the months following the game's release, there's a general trend upwards in Google search traffic. And this was all thanks to Lady Dima... D D D D Dugsdale Dimmy Dome. Now, I didn't really play the game myself, to be honest, but I've seen a few clips online, and they suggest to me that all of those positive aspects of Dami Mommy, uh, they're not really needed for the whole kink. But hey, you do you, cowgirl. And hey, if you like Dami Mommies, why not give Femboys a try? What am I doing with my life?